This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So not too long ago, Skiris or Siris, I'm sorry if I'm saying his name wrong, but he uploaded support for Switch Firmware 19.00 with the new Atmosphere 1.8.0. Now this release is not posted on GitHub yet because this is just a testing phase. He uploaded this so that way testers can see if there's any bugs and that way he can fix them and things like that. So it's not even a pre-release. I would like to really clarify that it's just in testing phase. But with that being said, the reason why I am making this video is because Atmosphere is working enough to at least get you back on the switch and boot into Atmosphere and allow you to downgrade if you're interested. So that's what this video is going to be about. This is really important. I would like to clarify that this is only for those that accidentally updated and would like to downgrade because this is not a full support release of Atmosphere. With that being said again, when Skiris does do a full release of Atmosphere, then I will upload my packs and make a new video on it. But for now, this video, we're going to be um, updated to 19.00, add the new atmosphere, and then downgrade to 18.1.0. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of information happening in here. So at any moment, if I'm being too confusing, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Now, I thought really hard on what would be the easiest route to be able to downgrade or do this whole process with y'all. And I went ahead and decided with using my modified version of the AIO Switch Updater app. Now, if you don't know what that is, this app allows you inside Atmosphere on the Switch, with Wi-Fi internet to be able to start the process of downloading the 18.1.0 firmware. Then we can start the downgrade. And then once we're downgraded, we can go back into the app, which I'm going to show in this video and download the last supported pack that I have for 18.1.0. And then we'd be completely set with doing everything directly from the switch. So I thought that would be easier, but if you're not comfortable with using the app and you would like to do everything manually, I will have all the links in the description you would need. So that would include the Atmosphere 19.00 support with the new Fusey bin file. And um, I'll have the link for the AIO Switch Updater app in, in case you want to follow along with me in this video. I will have the links to my packs for the last supported version of 18.1.0 and also the link to the site that you can download switch firmwares. So with that, let's go ahead and set up the switch. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is download the files that we need for today. So if you look in the description, there's going to be several links and the links you're gonna look for are the Atmosphere 1.8.0, 1900, Fusey.bin and the other side AIO switch updater.zip. Once you click on these links, it should take you to the page where you can start the download process. And then after that, you can have it moved to the desktop like I have done already. The next thing that you can do is open up your SD card. And it doesn't matter how you open up your SD card, as long as you're able to transfer your files successfully. Right now, I'm using the Hecate SD card tools. Never have any issues. Highly recommend it. But it's up to you. Just be careful. Now with the SD card open, there is this important thing that I did not know when I first started this video. And that is that the updated files for Atmosphere 1900 only come with the Atmosphere files. And it doesn't come with the HB menu and things like that. So we need the HB menu in order to be able to use my modified version of the AIO switch of data app or at the very least, be able to downgrade in firmware. 
So because of this, we have to change this video just a little bit and you need to have your SD card already set up with Atmosphere and Hecate or CFW, however you want to call it. Preferably the latest version, which is right now 1.7.1 .1 Atmosphere and 6.2.0. So if you don't have this, I highly suggest that you update using my packs here and the, everything's in the description so if you download these two files the ams 1.7.1 uh, the other side and hecate 6.2 you can use a 7-zip to extract the files to your sd card and you'd be updated with the the version of my pack and things will go a lot more smoother if you use my pack but of course if you already have atmosphere 1.7.1 and hecate then you don't need to download my pack so if I'm being too confusing, go ahead and pause and leave a comment before you continue. I don't want to mess up anything on your switch. So that being said, I already have my latest 1.7.1 .1 pack on this SD card. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with atmosphere here, 1.8.0. I'm going to right click and I'm going to be using 7-zip in order to extract my files. If you want to follow along with me, I'll leave a download link to 7-zip as well, and then you can follow along after. So once I open up the archive of 7-zip, I have atmosphere and switch folder. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to locate the root of the SD card, which is the beginning of the SD card, not inside any folders. And I'm going to drop it or extract it into this empty space right here. Make sure it doesn't fall into any folders or else it's not going to work that way. Just go ahead and extract it to this empty space. And it says if you have any files with the same names, just replace the files in the destination. So with this, we should be updated for support of 19.00. Now, what we can do is close out of this archive. We're going to have this modified, uh, or not this modified, we're going to have this fusy.bin that we need to add to the Hecate bootloader folder for payloads. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on here and then I'm going to click on copy Then I'm going to go into the bootloader folder go into the payloads and here we're going to right click and paste I'm going to replace this file in here and we should be good to go on there the last thing we need to do is uh, the other side AIO switch up data app I'm going to right click with 7-zip again open the archive I'm going to have this switch folder here so we're going to do the same thing like we did with atmosphere I like the switch folder and extract it to the root of the SD card. And if you already have it in there, just go ahead and replace the file on the destination. You need to have my modified version or else this is not going to work. So replace the file on the destination. Now we have the SD card set up and should be updated for support of 19.00. So let's go ahead and eject out of the SD card and test it out. So sorry, I don't have my camera to show you this next steps, but uh, I just moved so I don't have the space. But we'll see what I can come up with. Okay, so once I ejected out of Hecate SD card tools, you should be able to just go to home tab, launch, and then click on the atmosphere CFW SysNAND. And if everything goes well, it should boot into Atmosphere. There you go. Okay, so here on the Switch Home menu, we can check to see if Atmosphere is working by going into System Settings, scrolling all the way down to System, and right under System Update, you can see that I am on the current version 19.00 and also using AMS 1.8.0 with an S. And the S is because I'm using this in the SysNAND. You would not be using this in EMU MMC because you updated your SysNAND and we need to now downgrade so that way you would be able to use your EMU MMC again. So that is working. You can also check to see if we go into the HP menu by clicking into album. Here we go. We are in the HP menu and now you can look to see where the AIO switch update app is. And it has to say the other side on it or else this is not going to work on this video. So before we enter this app, you do need to make sure that you have an internet connection because this app will pull the resources to my links 
and you'd be able to download my files. So make sure you have an internet connection. I already have mine. After you have a successful internet connection, you can go ahead and enter it. And I know a lot of y'all will be, you know, skeptical about using internet connection, but if you're using my packs, the 1.7.1 and things like that, you just update it to my pack. I have all the protections for when using uh, internet connection. So if you do have a good internet connection, you should be able to enter the app and go into update atmosphere. And if you see the other side, AMS 1.71, then you have successfully used the app and are able to continue with this video. If you don't see the AMS 171, that's most likely because you don't have a, an internet connection, probably a, a strong internet connection either. So you need to be able to see this in order to continue. I'm gonna be doing this later, but first we can go down to download firmwares. I went ahead and uh, dumped my own firmwares. That way we can do this in the future. Right? I've already uploaded 19. Point zero zero, but we want to downgrade. So once you're on here, you can just go ahead and click on firmware 18.1.0. Click on it. It says uh, want to download it. Just go ahead and click on continue. It's going to start the download process, and then uh, it's going to start extracting to your SD card. All automatic. So we're going to be doing all of this just through the switch. Okay, so after you download, now it's going to extract to your SD card. Okay, so after you download and extract, it's going to ask you if you want to launch Daybreak to install the downloaded sys update. Um, it's not going to work on the first try, but you can go ahead and try it by clicking on yes. It should open up uh, Daybreak, but right here it says uh, no update found in the folder. So you're going to have to click on back, then go back into install. And here we're going to look for the folder that has the firmware, which should be the firmware folder now on your SD card. And here we have 18.1.0. Go ahead and click on it. It's going to validate the update. Okay, once it's um, valid, you can go ahead and click on continue. And the highlighted one, which is the purple, we're going to want to preserve the settings. We're also going to want to install FAT32 plus XFAT. And if you want to proceed, go ahead and click on continue. So now it's going to start installing the 18.1.0. After it's done, it will make you reboot and you should reboot back into your switch. There you go. Go ahead and reboot. Don't click shutdown. And it should reboot back into Atmosphere or Heck 8. Might go back into Heck 8. Okay, so after you downgrade to 18.1.0, you should be able to reboot back into the switch. And we can check to see if we are downgraded by going to System Settings, scrolling all the way down to System. And now you can see my current version is 18.1.0, still using the AMS 1.8.0 on the S. So now we are fully downgraded. The next thing that we got to do is now we have to downgrade the atmosphere because like I said, this is just testing. There's no full support yet, especially for other things that you may be interested in. So we got to downgrade. Now that we have this set up, we're going to go back into the AIO switch of data into the HP menu. Go ahead and go into it. Make sure you have an internet connection. and. Once you have an internet connection, you should be able to see the AMS 1.71 tesla.zip. Go ahead and click on it now. Click on continue. It's going to start downloading and extracting just like the, the firmware. It says, do you want to overwrite the existing INI config file? Just go ahead and click on yes, I believe. <laughs> do you want to delete all custom sys modules? Go ahead and click on yes. Once it's done extracting, it's gonna, it should ask you if you want the HEC8. So there you go. Do you also want to download the HEC8, which will be my version, the other side HEC8 6.2.0? Click on yes. 
This one also says, do you want to overwrite the existing INI config files? Go ahead and click on yes. Let it extract. It says the switch will now reboot. And if it goes well, it should boot back into Hec8. In which it did go back into Hec8 6.2.0. Just go ahead and go into launch. And then uh, you should be able to go back into your EMU MMC by now. But if you want to just check it out, you can go into AssistNet and just to see if it's downgraded with the AMS. Okay, so back here on the switch, we can go ahead and check to see if we are fully downgraded now. We can go into system, and now we can see that our conversion is 18.1.0 with AMS 1.7.1. Now it is the S, you could go back into Hecate and you should be able to go into your MUMNC. But of course, if it's disabled, you probably have to re-enable it in Hecate. But other than that, we are fully downgraded and now we can go back to using the full supported version of Atmosphere with whatever you plan on doing with 18.1.0 or with your switch, that is up to you. But everything should be working just fine. All my files that I have here should work, but you know, I don't want to get in trouble, so I want to try anything out, but it should be okay. Let me test one of them. <laughs> this works, I should be able to go into RetroArch with no issues. There you go. So it went in with no issues. I'm glad it did that. And that's letting me know that it is working. But other than that, everything is working for me. I hope everything is working for you. But of course, you know, everybody is different. If you have any issues, you can leave a comment down below. Help you out as best as I can. Um, if you don't use this app, you can ask me if you get lost somewhere doing it manually because, you know, we end up having to do it manually, kind of, because of the files that are not fully updated. And well, this is what we got right now. So let me know if it works for you. Let me know if you try it. It's kind of a waste because um, probably gonna release the full release probably tomorrow or the next day. But you know, we still have to wait for those extra things that we want uh, in order to use atmosphere with, uh, with however we want to use it. You know. Other than that, let me know how it goes for you. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.